Horrible displays of humanity all around this morning from a car perspective. The weather is glorious. Like, glorious. Loving it. It's supposed to rain, I think. Which is crazy. And then all the snow and the roofs will get really heavy, and our roofs will cave in. Good morning! Andrew just loves iPhone footage. I'm going to pick up a Kinaret. Um, it was a little bit of a brutal night for me because I was up coughing, so... I went downstairs so that I wouldn't wake anybody up. I definitely I got some sleep then, after about an hour of hacking. So I'm hoping today will be better. I just wish there was like some magic potion that would make it all disappear. But apparently then my antibodies wouldn't be built up. Kinera's here. She's like dressed like it's spring because this is what teenagers do. Good morning. I forgot my phone at work. At my uh, camera at work, so I'm vlogging a short a little bit on the phone. It's impressive. Yeah, you have to, uh, yes, definitely. Now it's holding, you know, you're not really supposed to hold something while you're driving, so I'm going to have to let go. But we have to talk about the Vampire Diaries. <laughs> Final delivery. I even fixed the doorbell, but somehow I missed FedEx. Oh, UPS, rather. Maybe it's because they come in the morning when I walk the girls. That never occurred to me. Anyways, the new cappuccino maker has to go get picked up, which is really cool because in the end I think it took a week to get here. I guess the warehouse is in Quebec. I'm waiting for my toast to pop up. I hate the feeling of being behind. Sometimes it's real, sometimes it's perception. But being behind really sucks. Seriously, who wants to be behind on anything? Not me. I want to be ahead. Yet I'm always... Shredding water and drowning just slightly. I think the trick is to lay and float. I don't know, man. Every time I get close to like getting above water, ear infection. What can you do for our Klondike bar? I once made up the analogy that my life is very much me standing in two boats or one foot in either boat. And I'm trying to bring the boats along, and I'm trying to stay aground, and I'm trying not to rip it to oblivion. But now I feel as though I'm on all fours. But they're much bigger boats. So just staying in the boats is hard? Too much for the analogies? Today was a good day. I had lots of focus. I think I need another coffee. Oh, I definitely need another coffee. I think I'm somewhat on time today, but it seems a little bit lighter, so I think it's just that the days are getting longer. So nice that it's 4.30. Incoming call from Annie, from from Annie So busy, busy day, and I never wound up going out or filming anything. I'm so excited to get the little ones. I am here. Yay. I had to stop at Vivo and Co. for work, so I'm here with the girls. Thankfully, Abby is somewhat entertaining Rebecca. Whoop Oh, there we go. I was wondering how long it would be until she ventured off. Who do I see? Are you playing peekaboo? Mama! Peekaboo! For those watching in the US, Piho and Co is Staples. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Entertainment for hours here. Almost home. I just have to work up the energy because I really want to go to Zumba tonight. How do you Zumba? Zumba, 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 Zumba. <laughs> You're hilarious. Abby is having a conversation about fat and skinny. Where she gets this is very interesting. But very matter of factly, non judgmentally, this person's fat, this person's skinny. I don't know how to deal with this. I'm going to ask Andrew his thoughts. I'm stuck between two worlds. There's the lights on the car. Obviously I have the dome light on now or whatever we call it these days. But the stereo one I want brighter, but the dash, like the speedometer and all that, I want that pale. I don't have that option. So I gotta have everything bright or everything dim. And I find the radio stuff really dim when it's dim. I'm off to go get our cappuccino maker because for some reason, as I've mentioned, I've, it's the delivery. But they're open for another 12 minutes. And it was probably going to take me 12 minutes to get there. So I hope they don't cut out early today. 
because people have a habit of doing that. Ah, there's only two minutes left, I'll, I'll leave. Not realizing that some fool like me had to first rush to make his family's dinner, feed his hunger-striking daughter, and then come to the store. We have stuff, people. All because you didn't press the doorbell long enough or knock loud enough. Very frustrating. Where are we first waiting? What, you want more? No. Rebecca's having a fantastic time playing with, I think, bubble bath. I don't hit yourself in the head. No! Don't hit me on my head, no way! Over there looming on the table is my new espresso maker. You are funny. The looks aren't everything, right? So now I'm going to do an unboxing for everybody where I'm going to slowly unpack this and give you my first impressions as I do so. No, I'm not. Yeah, you could ask. Yeah, that's what I got. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. What's the problem? I was going to vlog my unboxing, but a future vlogger decided to grab my camera. Yeah, I know. This thing is enormous. And I was telling Tova, it's fantastic, because this is, I bought this with Aero, I bought this. I got this with my Air Miles, or, oh, wait a minute. I'm so silly. I bought this with my Air Miles points. And I went to Aeroplan's website to try to check up on my status of my order. I hope I didn't use Aeroplan points, because I need those Aeroplan points to travel with. But, uh, here. this is huge. I don't know, I'm gonna have to actually read the manual, I think, Abby. What do you think? Do you know how to use it? Is that gonna fit under our counter? I don't really know yet. I hope so. If not, we can put the coffee maker there and, uh... Huge! As Toa said, do we want to be up until, uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning? A monstrosity it is. It's cool, but uh, more than a little big, and not only that, really, 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 really loud. Then again, I don't know how many coffees I should be making at 8 o'clock at night when the kids are asleep, so it's all kind of fine. And it'll certainly wake people up in the morning if they need to be woken up. I made a coffee for Tova, but I don't think she's going to drink it. I have a new simple request. Before we put, or just after we put the kids to sleep, Somewhere around the kids' bedtime, let's go ahead and pick up all the big stuff that you know. Let's say you're on your way to the bathroom to turn on the light because Rebecca just woke up and you don't want to turn the room, the hallway light on because you don't want to wake her up. But on your way to the bathroom, you kick the steps that are normally in the kitchen, make a whole heck of a lot of noise, much more disturbing than the light would have ever been. Because the kitchen stairs were in the hallway. Yeah, let's try not do that anymore. Or, I'm tired and I'm going to bed, so take that. I am many thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I want to do it again and again.